Whenever we talk about JWC Song Festival, we talk about Mr. Yitzhak Zocher. Yitzhak was a teacher at JWC, and in 1974, came to the board of the what was then the Talmud Torah and Joseph Walensky Collegiate, I was a member of that board, and said, what do you people think about celebrating Yom Hatzmaut by having students write original songs for the festival? Do you think that the board can support it? Do you think we can find a few dollars to get the trophies? We said, Yitzchak, go for it. And it is a tribute to the leadership of Gray Academy, the administration, the teachers who have continued this wonderful, wonderful tradition. Hi everyone, Chag Sameach. My name is Lori Binder and I'm the head of school at Gray Academy of Jewish Education. I want to thank everyone who was able to make a recording for us on what would be our 47th annual song festival. 47 years ago, Yitzchak Zohar gifted us with a way to celebrate our love of Israel and our love of Judaism through song. And it means so much to us that our alumni and past participants took the time to do a recording and send it our way. I want you to know that please, if you haven't sent us a recording, we want to share out more. This is volume one. Um, and this, in a great time of isolation, um, this is an opportunity for us to share joy. So please reach out, songfestival at grayacademy.ca if you have a few minutes to record live in your living room some of your greatest hits. I know that for so many of us that are alumni, we can close our eyes and think back to that stage at the Rosh Pina, now Eitz Chaim, Sherazedek, or here in the Bernie Theater or in the gym. Uh, those lyrics still resonate. We still can hum a tune with you. Um, and so even though we're isolated, we are joined together as we celebrate Yom Ha'atzma'ut. I thank Jerry Cohn for uh, taking the time to bring our next greeting. Chag Sameach. I was honored to be asked to greet you on this 72nd anniversary of the birth of our wonderful nation. Because the school is not able to celebrate the usual way by putting on the annual Yom Ha'atzma'ut Song Festival, I understand that on this video you will be witnessing some of the great Song Festival performances from previous years. In the mid-1970s, when I was on the board of directors of the school, a teacher by the name of Yitzhak Zocher approached the board with the idea of having our students write and perform their own songs originally in English, Hebrew, or Yiddish. And the idea of the Yom Ha'atzmaut Song Festival was born. And how wonderful it is that our students are still writing and performing their own songs to celebrate Yom Ha'atzmaut, all of course featuring Jewish content. As I greet you today, many of those performances from my era as principal are in the forefront of my consciousness. I dare say that I could even sing you a song or two from that era, but don't worry, I won't subject you to that now. My thoughts are with you at this special time of the COVID-19 virus. Stay home, everybody. Stay safe. And let us celebrate our holidays in that way. Chag Sameach. Hi, my name is David Gale and I live in Toronto. I graduated from Joseph Walensky Collegiate in 1976 and I participated in the first song festival in 1974 with my partner Leslie Corn Wallman. I've gone on to write many songs over the years, but uh, this one has stuck with me and perhaps you'll see why. Leslie, over to you. Hello Winnipeg, this is Leslie Korn and I am coming to you live from my living room in Los Angeles where I now reside and I am thrilled to be part of this celebration, this reunion concert for the Israeli Song Festival that Joseph Walensky has been putting on since 1974 because I remember that very well, David Gale and I co-wrote the song Art C. We performed and won first place at the very first Israeli Song Festival held at the Rosh Pina Auditorium. Michael Dolovich was on the piano, Jeff Dolovich was on the drums, Kenny Silden was on the bass, and Neil Schipper was on guitar. David and I entered from opposite sides of the stage, met in the middle, and began singing Artsy. Enjoy. Sing along if you know the words.
So, by way of introducing our first act, winners have come and winners have gone, but there may have been no cooler cat to ever grace the song festival and the stages of JW than Jeff Diamond. <laughs> In 1979, Jeff, along with his co-writer, Sheldon Laveman, took the festival by, by storm with his first ever jazz entry, Cruisin. Since then, Cruisin has been performed many times over the years, and although it's been more than 10 years since last performed at a JWC function, we're delighted to welcome Jeff back, Jeff back this evening. And I want to tell you, when Jeff isn't performing with his reggae band, he works as his day job as a research scientist with TR Labs. Tonight, Jeff is joined by two of his original backup singers, Jeff's sister, Laura Diamond, and Sharon Delbridge. So now, ladies and gentlemen, get ready to swing with the Jeff Diamond Trio and cruisin'.
Nomi Kudin is uh, a teacher by profession. She's taught at Talmud Torah out in Matheson and at Gray Academy in its uh, new digs. She's now a stay-at-home mom. And one of the things that uh, she's known for, among other things, is uh, the mother of two of my special grandchildren, Yoni Kudin and Ellie Kudin, who are here with us this evening as well. So now, please welcome Nomi back to the stage to join David in their song, Broken Wings. Once there were twelve doves who lived among many other birds In many nests not their own They all had beauty, they all liked to sing They all were happy, they all were content They all were loyal to the nest in which they lived They all liked where they were They thought they were Song. The eagles were in charge, the eagles changed the rules. They said, Doves, you can't sing until the weather cools. The doves said, That's just fine, they didn't want to sing in heat. They refused to see that this began their sad defeat. Soon they weren't allowed to sing their song at all. The doves said, This restriction was really very small. Six doves went to sleep and never awoke But the eagle said the story was just a joke The six remaining doves were sure they'd live to say The powerful eagles were really okay
Thank you, Nomi. Hi, everyone. Unfortunately, my cousin Marlena, who uh, was my co-writer and co-performer uh, in the JWC Song Festival, um, is not here. First of all, she's in Winnipeg. I'm in Toronto, and obviously we're in isolation. Um, so I'm just going to do a little medley of a couple of our Song Festival winners. I promise I will sing La 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 For you who died, I must live on Just empty barracks and barbed wire left to mourn Hold out your hands, please give me strength To find your eyes To pray, to cry To live, to fight The songs you could not sing I promise, yes, I promise, I will sing. La, da, da.
A family that's made its mark on song festival stages is the musical Posner's. Over the years, each of Ari, Rami, and Amira Posner have contributed multiple songs to the festival, including winning entries in 1988 through 1991. And, uh, Ari, Rami, and Amira's next song, Flowers Don't Grow Here Anymore, won second place in the senior high category in 1989. So while they couldn't be here, they have produced a music video in honor, in honor of tonight's evening. So now, please turn your attention to the screen for Flowers Don't Grow Here Anymore. The Fink family has been at the forefront of the Winnipeg Jewish music scene. Since the inception of the Song Festival in 1974, Shayla, Sharon, and Sheldon Fink have played my major roles in the festival's successes. Since then, as you know, a new generation of Finks have dominated the musical scene. Shayla's sons, Ariel and Avi, and Sharon's children, Milan and Cassie, have all had winning entries at the festival. Ariel is now a professional musician and, as you know, the musical director of tonight's competition. Tonight, fresh from their recent performance at the Gray Academy Gala, we're pleased to present two generations of fabulous Fink favorites. We welcome Shayla and Sharon back to our stage, along with their children Avi Posen and Casey Ackerman. So here they are with a medley of three of their finest. Eretz shel yofi, Eretz shel dam, one hope, and Hamashiach yavo.
It takes her breath away. Oh, God in heaven, grant him life. This is what she prays. She hopes the baby comes as the tears begin to flow. She hopes for peace in Israel to watch a baby grow. Shana, I'm 
המשיח Shalom, it's Avi Posen here in Haifa, Israel. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. And I'm honored to uh, send in one of my song festival songs for this, this year's virtual online Corona version of the Yom Ha'atzmaut Song Festival. This song is called Yafo Cafe that I performed with Alma Sifram and Ilana Shapira in 2006. And Emily Rose and I wrote the lyrics. And Song Festival for me was really one of my greatest memories going to high school at Gray Academy. The, the day Song Festival was over, I was already thinking about the next year. And to this day, I sing songs um, that I heard during Song Festival or that I put together myself. And it was definitely an inspiring and transformative experience for me and hopefully will be for many years to come. So everybody, in Winnipeg or wherever you are, Chag Sameach from Israel. Stay safe, stay healthy, and talk soon. All the best. Oh, we all share our stories at the Yafo Cafe. But we don't just speak one language, we talk in our own way. The owner is a Yemenite, the Russian man plays violin. The Moroccan plays the flute And I try to blend in Listen to the beat, to the beat Of a nation our in our hand Listen to the beat, to the beat. Feel the rhythm of the land Am echad lev echad Am Yisrael Chai Am Echad Lev Echad Am Yisrael Chai Oh, I played them my rhythm To them it was so new Here's a brand new flavor From an African Jew my family, we walk day and night in the sand in our bare feet. And now I can walk with head held high on Dizzy Golf Street. Listen to the beat of a nation in our hand. Listen to the beat. Feel the rhythm of the land. Am echad lev echad, am Yisrael chai. Am echad lev echad, 
עם ישראל חי. Oh, we came for the feeling we have found in this land. God saved us again with an outstretched hand. In this cafe on the corner street, all our past become alive. And our melodies come together for our will to survive. Will to survive. Listen to the beat. Listen to the beat. The beat. Of a nation oh, in our hand Listen to the beat Listen to the beat Feel the rhythm oh, of the land Am Echad, Lev Echad Am Yisrael Chai Am Echad, Lev Echad Am Yisrael Chai Listen to the beat of a nation oh, in our oh, hands. Listen to the beat. Listen to the beat. Feel the rhythm of the land. Am Echad, Lev Echad, Am Yisrael Chai. Oh, Am Echad, Lev Echad, Am Yisrael Share our stories at the Yafo Cafe. Yafo Cafe. Yafo Cafe. sibling duo Jenna and Matthew Buckwald.